Hey Pisces, this is Alicia with Twisted Tarot, here to do your April 2019 Twin Flame Tarot reading. Thank you everyone for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, uh, emails, personal readings. You guys are amazing. Um, I love you so much. Um, the support for my channel has been awesome. Um, thank you everyone who has stuck with me from the beginning. Um, I love your energy. I love doing your readings. Um, you are amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Remember, guys, this is a general reading. Um, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, there's a couple different options. Um, check your um, moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. You can do that. There's a link um, in the description box below for Cafe Astrology that takes you to their website where you can um, where you can uh, chart out your birth, your birth chart, and it'll show you uh, what signs, what astrological signs fall on what planets and why, and um, what that means for you. Um, if you're not sure where um, or how to, how to do that, um, you can contact me and I can help you with that um, on the website. You can also do a compatibility report. So you can take yourself, your twin, a soulmate, a karmic, whatever, and whatever they are to you. And you can also put that information in and add a person and see how compatible you are. Sorry, my dog needs to be let in. So give me just a moment. All right, sorry about that. Um, also, if it doesn't resonate with you, uh, it may not be your message, but um, one of the ways to get um, messages from my channel um, is to like, subscribe, share, and comment because when you do that, my energy, your energy comes into my energy when I pull for the collective. And um, I think about all my subscribers, all my people who have liked all everything and I bring all that energy into your reading. So if you're not getting messages, that could be why. So please like the video, comment, um, share with your friends. Um, it may not be, uh, your message, but you could help someone else. Um, and I wish I had time to do like a mid monthly and to do twice a month. Oh my gosh. I would love to do that for you guys. That would be amazing. But I am so overworked as it is. Um, I, I wish I had that time to be able to give to this channel and, um, maybe yet someday I will. So, um, I, I really appreciate your guys' support and everything like that. Um, what else? Yeah, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, the energy can fully swap, so it can be vice versa. So this is your energy in this video. The second video is your twin's energy, and I break them up into two videos because they can get pretty long. But remember, you are one soul. It, we are talking about twin flames, so you share um, some of the same commonalities, um, synchronicities, um, serendipitous stuff. So... Your energy is going to possibly flow in with e within each of the readings and your twins um, and also soulmates, people you're dealing with, friends, family, etc. I mean, anybody can come out in this reading. So um, if you're drawn to my channel and you like it, um, and that that's great. You don't even have to watch it for Twin Flames. I know some of um, my subscribers just watch it just for their energy. They aren't you know, involved with anybody or they're not really, you know, they don't really, you know, invest in twin flames, but they do watch their side of the reading. My mom just watches her side of the reading. So, you know, and you know, you guys can do that too. So, um, however you want. Um, but I do highly recommend watching both videos because there's so much information you can get from both and you may miss messages if you're just watching the one, um, because of the twin flame dynamic. So, all right, so I'm going to clear out the energy and we're going to get into your reading. Also, again, I do do personal readings. Um, the link is in the description box below. I don't do just twin flames. I can do whatever you want. Um, I can do love. I can do money. I can do jobs. I can do general. And you can just let spirit talk to you. I've had, I had my friend do that the other day. She's like, just give me whatever they want to give me. And I'm like, sweet, let's do it that way. It's one of the best ways to get the messages from spirit out there for you. So so yeah, it's up to you what you what kind of reading you want to purchase. It depends. Um, and the link is down below. It takes you to Facebook or you can email me at twistedtarot at gmail.com. All right, so let's get into your reading here. Um, also, I'm an intuitive reader. Uh, for those of you that know that are um, new that are not new to my channel, um, but if you are new, welcome. I'm an intuitive reader, and what that means is if you see a tarot card reading, um, I clarify all those tarot cards at the end. I'll give you my first impression on them, but then we will we will go deeper into the reading and after the whole picture has come out, and then we will clarify more. Um, so I clarify all of them at the end. I also am intuitive, so if I say something different than how other tarot readers 
know the, the uh, tarot or learn the tarot. Keep in mind, I may have learned it differently. There are about, you know, uh, 50 or so websites about tarot cards and different websites say something different about each tarot card. So keep that in mind that everybody learns differently. Everybody has their own flair. And I'm picking up intuitive messages that I'm going to give to you for your reading that um, may have nothing to do with that tarot card. So keep that in mind that I may say something that that, that card doesn't even technically mean traditionally. So just know that that's how I read. All right, we're going to chime a chime and then we'll get into your reading. Um, somebody said that in headphones it actually isn't so bad, but I don't know how volume wise how that would work. But um, keep that in mind um, that you may have to turn it down or take them out if it gets too loud. All right. Oh, Pisces, that was so calming and so delicate. I love it. Um, your energy as I was shuffling, I'm not going to lie, was very sad. I feel like I'm going to cry. I feel like there is some heaviness to your energy, um, some sadness, some confusion. So if this reading is confusing, um, I highly apologize. But if I'm tapped into your energy and that's how you guys are feeling, maybe that's what I'm picking up on. Um, that could be very relevant for some of you. But um, this card flipped out. It is a tea leaf card, and it flipped out um, as I was putting the deck away after I'd already pulled out your, car your cards, and it says clouds. It says temporary problems. So you guys may just be feeling temporarily under the weather, sad, maybe a little down, a little depressed. Um, for some of you, I just... I just want to cry. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I get emotional in this reading, um, but I know Pisces, I'm a Pisces cusp, so um, hopefully you guys won't um, skewer me too bad. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We have um, astrological cards here. Help, Spirit helps me take two. Um, this is the astrological sign of your twin. Um, if your twin sign does not come out um, within this reading or within these cards, doesn't mean this reading can't be for you. It is general. So really focus on the messages and maybe not the sign so much. Um, if it does come out and it does resonate more, that's magical. That's wonderful. But um, if it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't have anything to do with it, with whether the reading is for you or not. So, all right. Let's see who Pisces could be dealing with their twin. Pisces, who is your twin? All right, Pisces, who is your twin? Okay, we have Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, I think we got. Something like this last time and it was just overwhelming with emotions and that's why because your water signs and you've got another Scorpio going on yeah definitely and Aries yeah Aries was coming out King of Wands kept coming out as well pretty pretty hardcore here could be done with the Aries or a Scorpio all right let's see mutual energy between you and your twin is the ace of wands that's nice that's beautiful okay so for a lot of you, this is a brand new beginning. This is a fresh start. This is something the divine has given you. Look at that. The divine's um, holding out that wand, that passionate um, wand to talk about passion, um, talk about fire here. So feeling very um, passionate, fiery. Um, it's also sexual energy. So you and your twin may be feeling very a lot of sexual energy together. Um, a lot of this is um, embarking on you know, a new, a new adventure together. Uh, for some of you, this is, this wand right here is this brand new divine offer. So you're, you may be seeing your twin as a divine, as a divine partner now, and they may be, they may be, the divine is now actually offering that to you. Maybe you've been manifesting this and they're like, here you go. Like, here's your beautiful, beautiful twin. Here, here they are. Okay. Male or female. Wow. That's beautiful. I love that. I almost want to cry. <laughs> it's very, very magical. For some of you, you could get pregnant with your twin, um, with your twin and have a baby is what I'm seeing here. Um, Ace of Wands, um, I kind of feel like that could be like Ace of Cups too, but Ace of Wands, I'm kind of feeling that from her, but it's almost like the kingdom's there. You're manifesting so beautifully, Pisces, okay? You and your twin are manifesting beautifully, okay? And now the divine is rewarding you, okay? They're rewarding you for your hard work. This is also... This is also rewarding you internally, like for the for the work that you've done. Look, I got this wand, like literally, and um, I just got it. It just came in yesterday, so I only used it for one of the readings. But yeah, this is like them just really, really, really just giving you some intense, um, 
like you may be having intense dreams. You may be connecting with your twin through the through all of the realms now, even in the 3D. So you guys may this is communication as well. So for some of you, you may be having some passionate, fiery communication back and forth. Um, for some of you, that's what I'm feeling from this card. Um, wow, that's magical. I'm loving this, Pisces. Loving this. All right, what's next? All right, far, far away. It's creative daydream. We've got this in the Capricorn reading. And that's the number 30, which boils down to three. I knew it. I could tell this. Like, you are daydreaming. You know, and Pisces is a dreamer. Pisces is always kind of daydreaming about scenes and fantasies and a world. They get stuck in their own, not, maybe not stuck, but they get caught up in their own beautiful world of fantasy. And I love that about being a Pisces. I love you guys for that. I love that you guys are dreamers just like me. So mm, I'm so pretty. All right. And this is from the wild wisdom of the fairy Oracle. I just got this deck. Um, I've been using it for the readings. Um, they are pretty lengthy, so I'm not going to go super far into the meanings if they're really long, but I'll give you kind of an overview if they're not. All right. A tendency to daydream will be with you at this time. And this daydream will allow you to create Receive messages, send messages, and understand far more than you believe at present. That's that sending messages. You may be telepathically communicating with your twin. Far, far away, others may see you have a lack of focus, that you feel disconnected, allowing yourself to be distracted by ego, easily bored. Excuse me. So sorry. So tired. Sorry, guys. Short attention span. Needing physical involvement to learn. Too much sitting still. Yeah, you may be just restless. You may be wanting to do something. You may be, um, whatever you're doing, you may have a short attention span and it's, you need a distraction or you want to be distracted or you keep getting distracted and you're daydreaming while you're distracted. Uh, while daydreaming is beautiful and enriching, it is important to ground these Im imaginings with endeavor and with craft. Bring in the earth element and surprise everyone with the beauty of your creations. Yeah, so this is taking your daydreams. This is taking your your um, your fantasies and making them a reality. This is the divine saying, okay, now there's time to take action here. Okay, this, this to me, either giving you something so that you can take that wand, um, your little daydream up here and whatever you've been wanting up here, whatever you've been manifesting, and make it happen in this, into the, in, in this world. Or it's happening already and you're just like, what? Like almost like, is this for real? Like, is this for real? Next card is go with the flow. Yeah, being more receptive, going with the flow. These are beautiful cards too. They're also from a new deck. It's called the Earth Wisdom Oracle. Um, I love this um, because it gives you uh, some information about... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not sleeping all night. Um, this gives you actual tools that you can use for, uh, your, and maybe you guys are tired. Maybe you guys are tired because all of a sudden I'm just like, I need a nap. And I just sat down. That could be why whenever I sit down, it's like, okay, nap time. <laughs> um, so that they, they give you, um, they give you tools. Um, they're either plants or flowers, uh, or, uh, rocks or stones. So this text about loose strife, which is this purple plant here, and you can look it up as L O O S E S T R I F E. Helps coping when helps coping when life when life is overwhelming and going with the flow in the midst of chaos. So you may feel like this daydreaming right now, like and there may be chaos around you, and you're just kind of like floating in your boat, and you're just like, wow, look at everybody having a shit show, and you're just like, I don't want to participate in this shit show, so I'm gonna go here. You know, we do that a lot. Orbicular Jasper enhances steady, slow breathing, which supports patience and flexibility of mind. Okay, so you can get some of that. You might want to look that up. Um, the path to your, to your goal is not a straight line, but is filled with unexpected bends, detours, and blocks. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Being frustrated, angry, or impatient won't help. Try to accept that this chaos is part of the experience rather than fighting it or flailing about. Find the rhythm or flow in the chaos and write it gently to your destination. Yes, yeah, being receptive, it's getting in that energy, just going with the flow, not really fighting it right now. Just, you know, I know we have an action oriented card here, but um, w this is kind of flowing energy. I think of the energy as kind of like maybe past energy here, current energy, future here with the three. Um, with the three uh, rows that I have for y'all. It's kind of like that. 
victim, reverse. And you are not feeling like a victim anymore. You're not playing the victim. You're not going to take on that victim mentality. Other people may be trying to get you into this energy and you're like, nope. Like, no, we're not playing the victim. I'm not going to play the victim. <coughs> oh. oh, so sorry, guys. Got allergies, tired. Oh. oh, this is awful. I'm so sorry about your reading, guys. <laughs> okay. Wake up, Alicia. I'm even drinking coffee over here, and I'm just trying to get this, like, woo, moving. Okay, so, yeah, you're not feeling like the victim anymore. You're not going to embrace that mentality anymore, okay? That's beautiful, Pisces. That's beautiful. You may just be like, look, I have more control than I know. I'm going to take control of my life. I'm not going to let others control it. It's also going with the flow, but, you know, you're not playing that. You're not playing that game, you know, and I know many of us get caught up in that you know sometimes we do feel like we are the victim and sometimes we really are but you know we don't want to stay there for too long guys because it's just low vibration and we have the ace of swords reverse okay so this is going with going within to figure out your own truth um this is also a lack of clarity as well it could be so for some of you maybe lacking clarity over a situation um or you may need to go within if you're not finding the clarity in the, it's probably not going to be on this in the outside world. Okay. You're not going to find it through other people. You need to, you may not be speaking your own truth. You may have already spoken it. Um, and now you're just like, okay, now I'm going to keep doing me. I'm going to keep living in my truth. Normally like this, I would say you're keep no, live. But I feel like you're, you're changing this. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Allergies, whatever. Um, I feel like this is energy where like you're being you're being enlightened to something when you go within okay and this is this is self-evident truth so you're kind of going within and learning some you know and it may be it may be that something you don't you don't want to see okay for some of you, you may not want to see the truth okay about a situation all right or you're being blind to the situation it, it depends on you know there's multiple messages here for that card a lot of you it's just going in internally to seek your own truth <laughs> to figure out what it is and for but others of you it's a lack of 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 clarity about something you either don't want to see it or you're or you're not you're confused i feel like this is confusion i don't know why but again i was feeling that when i was shuffling and i guess we'll find out heart love deep affection and caring yeah i feel like you are in love okay you have some deep affection for someone and you your heart is just you know and it, this is may, maybe why it's because maybe your head, it's a head over heart type of situation possibly. It's almost like your head's like, well, wait, wait, wait. But your heart's like, but I'm so in love. So, all right. Twin flame message. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with. Yeah, this is that Ace of Swords. You're in love with somebody. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not expressing that you're in love with somebody. Maybe that's your truth because you're feeling like you're in love with somebody. Like you are absolutely deep down but you may not be speaking to them and telling them that you love them you may have keeping you may be keeping this to yourself you may be falling in love with somebody including your could be your twin you know we do have that ace of wands here very beautiful energy okay oh my goodness i'm so sorry keeper of secrets number 37 that's the number 10 and the number one starting of a new cycle i love this card i got this um got this in a couple readings Use your discernment. Confide in a trusted friend. Keep silent about knowledge. Yeah, we did. We did get this in the Capricorn. Okay, so it could be dealing with the Capricorn too, guys. Um, I feel like yes. Use your discernment about who you talk to about your business. Um, you are a keeper of secrets. You have their secrets. They have yours. Um, certain people, but be careful because I feel like you need to discern who is a trusted friend and who isn't and maybe keeping silent about something that you do you have knowledge of so you you know pisces are like that oh my gosh we're secret keepers and we have deep flowing secrets we don't tell a damn soul so we have lots of them and people will confide confide in us just like strangers up on the street for me they're like they'll just tell me their whole life story so um i know pisces are like that so we're we're that we have that energy that draws people in and all of a sudden you know we're halfway into like their life story, you know, up to however old they are now. So, you know, it's incredible what, um, uh, the things that we learn about people. I think it's incredible. And we're very good at, um, 
we're very good at keeping secrets, okay? And we're very good at knowing when to confide in some sometimes I'm very good about knowing when to confide into some this is a secret. I feel like this is a secret. Like you were in love. And maybe excuse me, maybe that's a secret that you want to confide into your friend to one of your friends. But be careful. You never know. Because as much as I know about Pisces, I know that we get fucked over just as much. So, you know, we think we can trust people. We think we've got someone on our side and they just turn right, right around and stab us in the back. So I'm not saying that's every Pisces that, um, you know, that happens to, but comment below and tell me because I'm pretty sure that it's happened to the majority of us. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Self-acceptance. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. We got a lot of these cards in the Capricorn reading guys and maybe Gemini. No, it was Gemini. Well, Capricorn was dealing with a Gemini, so it could be dealing with a Gemini too. But anyways, it doesn't matter. It was on the twin side. So self-acceptance um, has to do with accepting who you are, um, being proud of who you are, embracing it. Okay, so I feel like I'm just kind of repeating some messages from the Capricorn reading. So definitely watch that too, guys. Um, so you can um, utilize Witch Hazel. Uh, which I know I use that in a toner. I don't know how else it can be used, but you can look it up. It harmonizes opposites and, cur and encourages the acceptance of individuality. And also gold stone. Um, I don't know if that's a stone or a, I'm assuming it's a stone because it says stone, but it could be a crystal. I have no idea. Helps with attaining goals and recognizing one's value. The journey to self-acceptance can be challenging. Humans are contradictory creatures who seek order. Reconcile your seemingly opposing qualities and find the common root. Overcome society's brainwashing and accept that you are enough. You have value. The trek to achieve self-acceptance is worth it. You are worth it. Yes, absolutely. You're worth it. So that's accepting yourself, um, accepting your achievements, being proud of who you are. Yes, beautiful energy, you guys. And you have understanding. So you have this new understanding about who you are, what you want to be, what you want to do, accepting yourself. And you're getting divine guidance here. Look at this. They're giving you this type of understanding. All right. They're really, really showing you um, something from above. And you're getting some downloads too. So at night, you may be getting some downloads from spirit. They may be pouring that light into you and you are finally seeing the light. You're finally understanding something. Oh, yeah. All right. This is a nine of wands. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, nine of wands. Okay. This is um, this person. This, this is interesting because this deck has this in a um, color image and a black and white image. And it has more than one in this deck. And I'm not sure why, but it does. Um, but this is, you know, you still feel defensive. You still feel like you have a wall up. You still feel like you've had to fight for where you've gotten to. Like you still feel like there, there's a battle that you've like, that you're just exhausted from, that you've just put so much work and effort into that you're just like, it's hard for Pisces to break down their walls too. Like once they've built them up, at least for me, once they've built them up and the ones I know, it is very difficult for them to let you in. If they have, you know, they can swim away just as quickly. They're very used to being left, and so they can leave just as easily. Um, what I'm feeling like from this um, Nine of Wands energy here is that you're a warrior, Pisces. You're a warrior. You have battle scars. You have wounds. But you got to keep going, okay? And it's hard. It's been hard. It's been so hard. It's almost like when you feel like you're just, you want to give up, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, you want to give up, but they're telling me, keep going, keep going. You're almost there. You're almost there, okay? And you're just a warrior. You know, you have been through so much, and all those wands are, every single one of those is is something you've learned. You've taken it with you. You've put it, you put those, you put this wall up for a reason, and maybe it's time to kind of, let someone in, but maybe slowly let them in is what I feel like. Maybe slowly, because otherwise I feel like it could give, could give you anxiety. It could give you, it could make you stressed out. Because in the typical traditional tarot with the nine of swords, you have a lady who's blindfolded, and her hands don't look really bound, but they're tied in front of her, or they're loosely tied in front of her, and then she's got all of these swords around her. 
So it's like reminding me of that only with the wands, okay? So it's almost like, you know, you, you're a warrior. You've gone so far though, okay? Bird flying. News is on the way. Okay, so there's there's some type of news coming your way, okay? Could be about this. It could be about love, okay? And you may be seeing birds a lot um, and, and seeing them and recognizing them and they may be a symbol for you, okay? So some, some type of news is coming, okay? So you may feel like you're anticipating this news, Pisces. You may even know because you're very intuitive, okay? So you may have an understanding of what's coming. You may foresee what is coming. Twin flame message. You can't handle your words right now. Okay, so for a lot of you, you're just, this is what's going on. Like you're, you're in love with this person. You're in love, possibly, you know, it could be your twin, it could be someone else here, but you're in love. But it still scares the shit out of you. And so handling someone's words right now for some of you is not something that you're 100% open to. Because you're dealing with a lot in your own life. And maybe they're dealing with a lot in their life as well. So it feels like, you know, maybe you're just like, I can't talk to you right now. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to express what's going on with me, maybe. Okay? And I don't know how to break down this wall. I don't know how to get past this wall right now. I'm still defensive. I feel like it's a defensive stance. You're still defending yourself. You're still, you're, you're madly in love, possibly. And that's the truth. And maybe you're kind of like, I'm not going to speak about it. I'm not going to tell nobody. Shh. Like this keeper of secrets here. Like, I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm in love. But, you know, or only tell certain people. But I'm not telling the person I'm in love with, possibly. Could be your twin. All right. We have beauty's truth. Okay, but it's reversed. So this is what she looks like upright. And she looks like reversed. Okay, so it talks about beauty, physical pleasures, and sensuality. Okay. This is number 32. This is number five, which is talks about change. Um, let's see what they say here about beauty's truth. Beautiful card. Um, I don't really like it upside down, though, guys. Believing that love of your physicality is vanity and that beauty belongs to some gifted by the genetic lottery. Internalizing beliefs about appearance needing to fit into categories. Wishing to be other than what you are and denying yourself the beauty that was gifted to you at first breath. Refusing to believe that others can see your beauty. Denying compliments, brushing off sweet things others say. Feeling ugly and thus unlovable. Tis a lie. Invite the fairies in to show you your beauty. Let them tell you of where it is and what your critical and perhaps conditioned gaze may have missed. Let them sprinkle you with their fairy dust to see how you shine. Then let them teach you how to do this yourself and you will glow with your own inner light. Yeah, you may be feeling like you comparing yourself to models or celebrities or whatever that you're not worthy of love because you're not as beautiful as so and so or etc. And um, that's just not true. That's absolutely not true. And that's society's conditioning. Okay, you're beautiful and magical and wonderful. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise, Pisces. Are you kidding me? Pisces are some of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Like, bar none. Look up Pisces that are actresses, okay? Look at yourself in the mirror. Really look at yourself. You're not ugly. You're not ugly. Not even a little. We have divine connection. Okay. All right. And this was, again, very similar to the Capricorn reading, you guys. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, we have Divine Connection. This is the Earth Wisdom Oracle. Again, um, it's connecting with the divine. All right, and if you need more connecting, more if you're not feeling like you're very connected, this can help. Um, you could, it talks about water lily. Opening the crown chakra raises awareness and encourages enlightenment. So you can do a crown chakra meditation. They are, there, are, You can do a Google search or there's tons of them on YouTube. Um, selenite, which is something I got here. Supports connection with the divine, okay? So this is a very beautiful, beautiful way to connect with the divine to get, you can even use this for your chakras here, okay? So um, again, you can use it on your crown chakra. Um, you can look up how to do that on, online. Instead of looking externally for guidance, which can, which can be open to misinterpretation or put you at the mercy of someone else's agenda, focus on, the strengthening, your own connect, on strengthening your own connection with the divine. That is your best, most reliable North Star, the guiding source that you can always follow, even through the darkest night. Yeah, so 
looking for external guidance or external somebody to tell you what you're doing or how you're living your life is correct or blah, 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 blah. That's not what they want you to do. You have that ability and that gift inside and the divine is within you and they're communicating to you. So you have a direct connection. You don't need to look for outside assistance because it just muddies up that, um, it muddies up your connection with the divine because who knows how that person's connected and what they're, where are they being objective and are they being fair and are they looking at it from their perspective? Are they being, you know, objectivity um, is very hard to find, especially in a group of friends, family, etc. people that are close to you. So they are telling you the knowledge and your connection can be re- um, rejuvenated with the selenite and with this water lily and just by going within okay within looking within this is the ace of swords that's that truth within you will find the truth within not outside not outside of you okay not externally to you maybe in nature but not physical people and then we have union but it's reversed okay so maybe you're feeling this is why some of you are sad because you understand about your twin. You're not playing the victim. You're in love with them or in love with someone here, but you're not coming into union with them. And, and I wonder why. I wonder what's going on there. Let's see. The star could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're wishing for this union. You're wishing for this, for you guys to come together, to come into union with each other. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. There's hope here. There's definitely hope for you guys, okay? This the, this can happen, okay? This star is looking directly up at you at the union card here. Even though union's reversed, okay? So, you know, remember that there may be a lack of divine connection right now and it could be it could be a lack of understanding. I don't know, we'll see on their part. I feel like you understand very well that you want to come into union with this person or you're getting it um some type of understanding. If you're feeling like you're not worth it, a worth this person, that could be affecting your connection. Because remember, you mirror that energy with your twin. So keep in mind that you've got to focus on self-acceptance, self-love, self-worth, okay? So that your twin does the same. So the twin, your twin feels the same, okay? And then that energy can change, okay? Tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead yes i'm telling you it may take some time but you are slowly but surely you're gonna get there okay it's gonna take some time though okay think of that tortoise can play message you inspire me so your twin inspires you and that's beautiful beautiful energy okay guys all right let's see what's going on here let's get some clarification i want to know more let's find out what's going on with pisces all right, Ace of Wands here. Let's figure out. This is this is a connection. This is a beautiful connection here. This is divinely guided. This is a divine gift. This is a start of something new and amazing, something passionate, okay? All right, why do we have the Ace of Wands here? Why do we have the Ace of Wands here? Why do we have the Ace of Wands here? Eight of Cups reversed. Okay. All right. Not moving on. You know, this Eight of Cups is, well, normally the Eight of Cups is somebody moving on. Somebody um, with Eight Cups when it's upright, eight cups, you know, surrounding them, it's reversed. Okay. So eight cups surrounding this person and being completely spilled and emotional. So you may be very emotional at this time and your emotions may be kind of back and forth, but you're like, should I move on? Should I not move on from this person? It doesn't feel like you're moving. It doesn't feel like you're moving forward. It feels like you're moving. Like, it's not like you're, it's not, you're not leaving somebody behind. Normally with the Eight of Cups, it's like being done, being over, letting things lie and going forward, trying to trying to pick yourself up emotionally and move forward. But this Eight of Cups is not moving forward, which is still okay because there's a reason for that. 
because you're being offered something, you know, you're being offered something. It's like standing still. It's like, okay, I'm in the stillness. Okay. I'm resting. I'm here. I'm just waiting for this to manifest because I put in all this work and it's like I put in all my seeds and I planted and planted and planted them and waited for them to grow. Just like the springtime. I feel like that's what's happening is that you're not giving up. Okay. Don't give up. That's what I feel like. You're not giving up, especially with the star here. Don't give up. Okay. There's still hope for this. There's still something manifesting. You, you be, Behind the scenes is what I'm feeling like for a lot of you. Things are happening rapidly for behind the scenes for some of you. Some of you, are hap it's happening rapidly in your life now. So don't give up because you are almost there. All right. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed? Why is the Ace of Swords reversed? Ace of Swords reversed. <laughs> I'm telling you. Your truth is, is that you want to take a risk on this Ten of Cups because the Ten of Cups, you can have this Ten of Cups. Could be done with an Aries. We have Aries here. You want to be this fool. You want to take this risk. You know that it's going to give you your Ten of Cups. This is your truth. You may not be speaking it, but you want to rush at this person. You want to take. You want to go on adventures with them because you know they're going to fulfill every dream you've ever had, Pisces. Okay, and you know you can get that Ten of Cups with them. Okay, whether it's that Aries or just in general that energy where you're just like, I'm ready. I'm ready to make this commitment with you. I'm ready to love you forever. I'm ready to give you. Look at this Ten of Cups. Look at how beautiful these two these two people are. They're intertwined. They're kissing. Look at those fish, Pisces. That's your energy there. You know, that's a multi emotional, ultimate emotional fulfillment, okay? And you are in love, okay? You are in love. Nice. Mm. And there's moments where you want to leave. There's moments where you're like, damn it, I want to just leave. Like, why can't I just leave this behind? Why? But they're like, no, there's no reason to because everything is manifesting. This Ace of Wands, they are bringing you this divine gift. All right, why do we have the Nine of Wands here? And being patient is what I feel like for a lot of you, being patient. Ace of Swords. Okay, some truth here. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Speaking your truth, okay? Being clear about what you want. Clearing this. I feel like clearing this energy. Breaking down your walls, okay? Um, and moving forward in your truth, okay? Because you know that this is worth the fight. You know that this is worth the effort. You know that this is worth every single battle you've ever been through to get to this person. I'm so sorry, you guys. Like, this is, you get it. Like, you get it. Like, the divine is like, here's this understanding. Here's your clarity. This is your person. This is your path. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. Keep going. Yeah, because we got the star right next to it. Keep going. Live in your truth. This massive, your, your truth, you know what it is. You absolutely know what it is with this Ace of Swords being reversed. And they want you to speak that truth to this person. To tell them, I love you. You're my person. You know. All right, why is this star here? Why is this star here? Why is this star here? many cards but we do have the two of cups that's a soulmate connection you guys i mean they wanted that to come out i probably should have taken it, it was very beautiful i'm sorry that's like four cards sometimes it can be so incoherent why is the star here okay why is the star here oh gosh 
glue. Okay, I'm not taking these guys. I'm sorry. I want I want a couple cards. Just one or two, please, Spirit. They're all over the place. Okay, five of cups and the ace of pentacles. Okay. So normally I would say this is, um, you may be rejecting other offers, okay? Because you have, you know what you want. You have this beautiful opportunity, this ace of, ace of pentacles here. So you have this bright shining opportunity. You're focused on it. You may be rejecting other offers, okay? So um, maybe somebody who, anybody around you who's not your twin, um, you are, you're, you're just like, no, 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 no. Don't come at me with this. Like, I want this brand new opportunity this ace of pentacles i am going to grab this opportunity um with both hands and i know it's coming and i'm wishing and i'm hoping and i just and you guys just don't give up okay because it is coming okay and you feel it on an intuitive level pisces you are so intuitive you are so empathic you get it you know it's it's coming and this is i feel like you're rejecting anything this person's like turned away from this offer you're rejecting other offers, okay? You're rejecting other offers because you are so focused on union. You are so focused on your twin. You you know, and they want you not to give up. Keep hoping. Don't give up, okay? Don't give up. This is a divine gift here as well. So, yeah, absolutely. Oh, my gosh, Pisces. This is beautiful. Let's see what your fortune is. Okay. We have coffin. Natural endings abound. Take care with your health, okay? So, um different than how I'm reading the reading, but, um, it's the end. I think it's the end of being a victim. It's the end of, um, it's the end of your old life. I feel like you are clearing shit out in preparation for your union and preparation for your twin and preparation for the love that you have for this person that, there are natural endings with others and that are meant to be and be careful with your health at this time because it is saying that, you know, there is, there could be some health issues between you and your twin. So be careful, um, that things, things that are no longer meant for you. I feel like those are natural endings and not to, not to fight that, you know, to let things go gracefully, um, go with the flow. If things are not working, not forcing them, um, you know, doing that work on you with your divine, your divine connection, embracing that, speaking your truth. You know, you are so in love here. Oh my gosh. And your 10 of cups is, you know, you know, you can have this 10 of cups with this person. Um, but I feel like they're telling you, you need to reject other offers that those are not going to suit you Pisces. And you know that, and you know, they're not going to fulfill you. Okay. With this ace of pentacles and this five of cups. Okay. And keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. All right. I think I'm going to label it that this video that don't give up because you're almost there. You're almost there. Okay. The divine is going to reward you if they haven't already. Um, if those blessings haven't shown up in your life already, they're on their way. All right, Pisces. I love you so, so, so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, can't wait to see you for your twin side. We'll see, uh, what their story is. Um, I will see you also for your May readings. Take care.